and a LCS record holding actually across both as Freak said the pawns with kills Voidal taking a bit of damage there with Diamond in the wing Psycho Sid actually flashed in for that one nearly yep. going down because Diamond was in the wings for a counter gank that was a very aggressive move by Vulcan and it puts him in a bad spot here because it's a 3v very low two people at the turret <laughs> trying to chug those health potions up the skill shots. You can see Smithy trying to Ooh. be just a bodyguard here for mm -hmm. Sid. If Sid gets hit by that Q, they are fully going in onto this. Genja, full health for Vulcan as well, but they're doing what they can to keep Smithy alive with Psycho Sid in the bottom lane. Whoa, X Smithy, you're getting crazy. Level four to four, they're going to Diamond! Could it be first blood? He pulls himself out just on the outside. It wasn't the Q. Psycho Sid couldn't hit it. The kill goes out. First blood going over to Voidal, and Genja gets the second one. Two huge kills coming out for Gambit. Voidal are down, and if they go before the Sona's level six, it's a kill. Boom, right on to Genja, the assault and battery with the Vault Breaker. Genja goes into the bush. He's trying not to bring the fight to Voidal. He knew he was going down. Awesome stuff there. Five oh, seal, but he against does have Sin, flash up. He does not get it. That's going to be tough. Lee Sin able to get the execute and the smite down. X Smithy may go down there. Oh, they throw the command shockwave. That was quite unfortunate on the Vault Breaker just out. He connects with it and he kicks it back. Oh, man. Double kill coming up for Alec. Oh, the pressure is there. So Vulcan can get that whenever they want. Now it's about Diamond. He gets the Q. Destiny coming in. They're going to find each other. There it is. A good shockwave, but it's only going to throw them about for a second. Gets the shield on. The burn is there from Red. They get the flash out. Facilitate oh, that. Throwing Smithy, down Lockett. Just like Solari. Oh, Smithy on the outside. He comes into the fight. Psycho Sid from the back. A lot of damage onto Smithy. Trying to peel off Diamond so he can't do much, but goes down. Will there be a follow-up? Oh, it's going to be the dive coming in from Darian. The crescendo comes out, and Man Cloud will not be able to help the team. Still the chase coming in. Psycho Sid goes down, and there are kills across the map. Gam only helps them to get more objective here. That's the third turret on this run, and it looks like Vulcan has the team up. They now want to engage. Those timers are up for them. Darian goes in, but it's a back off from everybody, and this is when Genja comes into play. Everybody's scattered. The living artillery to come down. And they still have the Baron buff, regening everyone up from Gambit. They get two more kills. Gambit oh. looks like they have a very quick victory here if they just finish it off. A good body block there by Diamond is Genja still throwing. That bio arcane and living artillery at his opponents. The first Nexus and the second turret fall at the same time. It's going to be the Nexus as well. 10 to 2. Gambit 3 and 0 here in Group B. Gambit absolutely dominating this group so far. Vulcan looks strong. They took them down. They beat Ozone yesterday. And that only took them 27 minutes to dismantle that Vulcan team. Diamond Prox has got to be happy about that. You know? They kept coming in with the same. He didn't have Ari, and Alex did not need it. I bring, he brings out what I believe is the first Twisted Fate for us here at Worlds. Yep. And they were able to play it in a, not an orthodox way, but it wasn't the destiny to kill. It wasn't the destiny to, like you said, get somebody out of position, because Vulcan